So this episode, we're going to be putting it back together. Putting the band back together. No, that would be difficult. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Lunacy. Uh, if you enjoy it, please tell others so uh, they can... Uh, Join in the fun, and uh, if you haven't already, do subscribe. Starting with bolting these back into the uh, back into the frame, I guess uh, that involves a bit of funny games because that one there holds the kickstand in. So I'm going to have to come around this side of the bike, lean it over on me, put that on. And then hopefully drop it over, and it will be good. And then this side we got uh, we got the brake pedal and the lever to reinsert and line up and everything. So that'll probably be a bit of a giggle too. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, got that one back in place. So that's now um, hopefully not going to fall over. I'm going to do the others now. As expected, this side's a bit of a fiddle, and it's the uh, getting it in the right sequence of events. So. First, just loosely put the brake pedal in itself. So that, as you can see, not tightened up. It gives me maximum scope to, um, uh, well, no. First, put the plunger in. Yes. Then, screw that in place. Then, grab that spring, which is already under here. So under the back of the pedal. And then grab the other end of it. And it's not a tight spring, so it's just a bit of a fiddle um, to get it over that notch in the rear of that mount. And uh, because that's important, because um, that operates the switch for the light. So the spring pushes the pedal back up against the switch. And um, now, it should be fine. So now I can bolt all that back in place. So yeah, a little bit of a fiddle, but. So having tightened up the brake pedal mount, just a question of putting these boys back in. A uh, variety of hex bolt things required. The uh, reason you have to do the brake pedal first is because you can't get to it once you bolt everything in. So yeah, frame gets in the way. Sequence Let's of events. Check that brake pedal switch. So off at the moment on off cool so honestly if i had a seat now i could take it around a block but i haven't because derek's still a a few things left to do we've still got to actually you know put the brake light in properly which involves the seat again derek and um yeah i've got to finish the tank but uh, there it is in all its glory and its new paint and it's looking good uh, what else have we got to do? We've got to work out what we're going to do with this. So this went to that, uh, this pipe here, went to that uh, environmentally friendly little box and um, we've taken that off. But apparently it's the drain pipe. But I don't know. I think they're just going to block it up, honestly. What else have we got to do? Uh, yes, talking of drains, um, yes, the oil catch tank has got to be plumbed in. But yeah, other than that, I mean, this baby's done. How about that? And a lot quicker than it seems on the videos. Oh, I got a little ahead of myself this time. Makes a change. If only Derek would do the same. You know, I'm giving Del Boy a lot of grief, and actually, he's, uh, he's my motorcycle elf. He's, he's a genius and um, he gets to the bottom of problems um, but he also gets to the bottom of the communication list so I don't know where he is or what's happening with my seat if anything um, watch this space it's fairly typical here in Sedona oh actually he's not the only thing I'm waiting for I'm also waiting for the other bit of perspex from the useless individuals that sent me the wrong thing in the first place and um, then I ordered a different one which I think I'm probably going to use anyway but I'd really like to see the one I originally ordered 
just to see if it um, you know, if it works better. How long does it take to cut a four and a quarter square block of perspex? Apparently several months. Yes, I know it's the wrong seat. I think we've already covered that. But um, yeah, I'll put the side panel on just for giggles. And um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't know where this, I mean, the seat's going to kind of come to there, a little bit further back. But obviously, it's going to go all the way to there as well. So if you want the effect there, it's going to be a bit like that. <laughs> obviously, it's not going to come down like that. So, yeah, it's a very poor substitute for the actual seat. But you get the idea. And, yes, more garage space occupied by something else that isn't a motorcycle. Very frustrating. Anyway, not so frustrating is all this, because it all fits. Oh yeah, I need to put the, um, the foot pegs in, don't I? That's going to be frustrating, but yeah, I mean, it's all starting to look quite good. There's that side done, and the same reverse logic applied. So as you can see, that's not tight on there. Uh, it doesn't matter. None of that is moving in any direction. I know, it's strange, but... Um, you just have to throw your brain out the window and when it's tight it's tight and when it ain't it ain't it's illogical captain again hmm job done foot pegs installed with my radical reverse thinking or whatever it is and yeah still liking that and that Nice paint job. Use that paint again. Let's get this baby on the road. Never did come to a conclusion as to how to finish these off. But actually, I think I'm going to use some, um, you know, some of those plastic furniture cap things if I can find the right size, five eighths or 16, 17 mil, something like that. Um, yeah, you know. I know it will add strength if I put something across between them as a cross frame. Um, but unless you favour one cheek or the other, I think you're going to be all right. Something like that. Yay, more stickers. We like stickers. And there it is. That reminds me. I can put the tank pad on now, if I can remember where I put it. Yeah, nice. I think. Subtle-ish. Yeah. Tank is now complete. Just need a damn seat. And there we go. Problem solved. Tube blocked. Back on my favourite task of cleaning. Just cleaning up that latch before I put it back on. Um, with uh, Never Dull or Nevju, as it's now called. A little bit like Brasso or silver polish. Remember my granddad cleaning all the silverware with something very similar years and years ago. Some things never change. Yeah, it's always the little ones that cause trouble. And um, yeah, I can't get this to latch. Um, it might be a question of adjustment. I may need to bend out the catch there um, underneath the ignition key thing. That's about as far as it will go on its adjustment. Oh, I think. What a rubbish device. Suspect device, even. The more I look at that, the less I like it. I think I'm going to take it off before it sticks too much. Yeah, probably work on anything apart from a black tank. Uh, now I've got fingerprints all over the inside, um, the sticky bit, uh, so it looks even more there. Might just use the bottom two of those, obviously not the top one, not applicable. Actually I found this one um, in California, and so that should be with me in a few days, and I rather like that. And uh, another one from uh, China, which will probably take a little longer. Uh, but it's got lots of bits and pieces, um, gold trimmed JPS style, uh, black and gold stickers. Um, sure, I can find a place for them, not the tank necessarily. Um, it was a bargain. 
Still no seat, obviously, uh, but I'm just uh, I'm looking at how I'm going to mount this, actually, and still no uh, smaller version, no four-inch version or three and a half or whatever the hell it was. So I'm working with this one, and uh, I still am taking the protective off. I'm treating it like uh, plutonium, uh, but uh, it's only like ten bucks delivered. Anyway. Let's see what that looks like. I've already kind of tested the fact that I've drilled through it with these two Allen bolts here, uh, hex bolts, whatever you want to call them, and um, it doesn't show up at the back, which is nice. You can't see as well as I can, but you just can't see that those bolts are actually going through. So that's kind of cool. And um, yeah, it's kind of working. Kind of working. Ooh, yeah, well, need to adjust that. A bit of overlap there. Be better if the overlap was here. Okay. Yeah, but that's um, relatively solid. So it's literally hinged off that one mount. I don't even remember what that was for now. Uh, probably the oil catch tank which is now going to be located down there. And it rests on that one. Don't want to put another bolt through it, if I can help so it. All these bolts are just finger tight at the moment and uh, it's not moving much. So by the time I tighten them down for prop, for real, that's going to be good Still to go. Fiddling around with this bloody catch, which doesn't catch. Uh, I've taken that off for now because uh, I'm going to paint it gold. Obviously that uh, masking tape will be replaced with my favourite HVAC tape. Super strong, super sticky. Not sure what to do about the protective cover. Whether to leave it on? Probably not. Maybe some reflective tape, i.e. HVAC tape, um, metal tape so that it will reflect the light back into the into the block uh, not sure can't really test that maybe I just leave it uncovered suffer the consequences damage wise stones and things flicking up at it and uh, just let the light shine out all right, well this latch bollocks works fine once that shrouding is off. I just need to make sure the shrouding is as far forward as it will go. And if necessary, we'll have to cut a bit out, I suppose. It always was a fiddle, uh, even when I picked it up. I shall put my protective uh, draft excluder strip on the bottom of the latch again then. Uh-oh, now what? Nice, that's better. Now we just need to get everything to fit well that's that all sorted and um, yeah it starts up and uh, yeah it's a bit tight isn't it hmm crappy design bullshit latch bullshit immobilizer bullshit all in all a lot of bullshit which has been uh, mainly today for me but they happen right LED's quite fragile, apparently. I seem to have broken that one. Yeah. Bugger. Good job, we've got three more for six bucks. Officially past the 48 hours expiry date, and actually, it's true. It's completely bollocks. Um, I tested it. So, there you go. 2K, 48 hours max. Great song by The Clash. And a uh, great film with um, Nick Nolte and Eddie Murphy. Yeah, love that film. Both of them. Brilliant films. Got me plate. Jan 23 is optimistic. I hope I've got rid of it by then. Since doesn't look very happy with the situation. And nor am I. So the LED broke because although it's in a flexible rubbery container, it's actually a board at the end of the day. So. And there's so much flexibility that it's got. So we're on number two, aren't we, Mr. Simps? And I cut this one even shorter, so I don't have to bend it. But that may have ruined the middle section, which is the brake light aspect. 
running lights. And um, doesn't appear to be working at all. It's annoying. Getting there again. All of which shenanigans means that we've ended up with even shorter wires here and shorter wires on the itself. Piece. So I'm going to put some extensions in on the bench where I can see what I'm doing, where it's not all cramped, and then I'll have decent wires rather than these ridiculously small things uh, to fit onto the bike wiring. Of course, they won't be the right colours because I haven't got the right colours. Typically, no surprise there then. Really useful having a, a paked out window, uh, mainly because of nosy neighbours, um, to, uh, to be able to see through the tube and uh, see that all the wires are in place and yeah. Hmm. Especially if you've got crappy eyesight like me. It's not that crappy, I don't even wear glasses for driving. Although, according to the UK, I should. According to AZ, yeah, man, whatever. Almost the right colours. Red, white and green instead of black. Gone all household and all Italian. One last test before I do it all for real, as always. So running lights are on and, uh, yeah, brake lights. Yeah, seen this before, haven't Eat we? Meat. It's a lot more tedious for me. So one interesting thing, if it's of any use to anyone, uh, that I've noticed with these, so this end I cut off these small ones, which were indicators. And I also cut off about four or five of these, which are the running lights and brake lights. The interesting thing is that before I did that, these didn't come on, obviously, with the running lights or the brake lights. However, now they default to the red, which is perfect for what I want. So I don't have to bend it round, and those lights have become, by default, running lights rather than indicators, which is interesting. I don't understand LEDs, uh, but that's the way they work, apparently. So now I have a perfect length LED strip with uh, no overhang, no bending, no snapping involved. Perfect. That's better, that's more like a tank pad. Yeah. All right, we'll fit that first, in a minute. We have to fit the uh, first new battery ever on the Bel Air. Well, not since 1961, obviously. Um, but yeah, the old one died after I put that grease stuff on to stop the corrosion. And um, chap at O'Reilly's gave me, um, well he didn't give me, he sold me, um, these boys. They're supposed to do the same thing, little felt pads. See if they work. In the meantime, can't get these nuts off, because I bought a new fitting, because that looks pretty horrible. So, it's time for an angle grinder. Well, you like getting violent with things. There you go. Very nice. That's very nice. And it's almost bloody straight. That's a miracle. Yeah. Cool. Something Ooh. lurking in the background. Oh, I would have liked to have finished this episode with uh, the seat arriving and a test ride around the block, but uh, Derek is still AWOL, so <laughs> that ain't going to happen. Uh, but thanks again for watching as usual and um, do subscribe if you haven't already and uh, encourage others to watch my lunacy.